For the past five plus years, musician Sally Taylor has been gathering artists of all different kinds, photographers, poets, musicians, dancers, sculptors, set designers, chefs, perfumers. Ask them all to go on an adventure with her, a game of artistic telephone, she calls it. The idea is to start with one piece of art, give it to another artist, ask them to create another piece of art inspired by the first, and then pass it on so the cycle can start again. In the end, you get a chain with one image leading into the next, each with the unique story behind it is one of the artists, Sally's cousin Claudia, explains. We can all perceive things in, in similar ways, um, or maybe even drastically different ways, but we're all coming from one source. We're all so similar, we're all so different, and um, we do all have one, one source that we can connect ourselves to. Now in a new exhibit at the Massachusetts Museum of Contemporary Art, that's Mass Mocha to you in North Adams, Taylor's adding a new twist to the project, each being inspired by children's art. Sally joins me now. Sally, it's great to see you. It's so good to see you. Did I explain that? I'm not even sure. You did an incredible job. Do you want to fill in any blanks? You know, only just to say that it's sort of like a game of telephone, but Mm -hmm. through art. And each artist is blind to the previous artist's identity or the title of their art. So really, everybody that gets the piece of art just gets one back from them. Why, why are they blind yeah. to what went before? What is, what, how does that contribute to the process? Well, it started with a, a fable, actually, a, about these blind men that come across this huge elephant. Is that true? I read that, and I thought I that know. was made up. No, Tell no, no it's the true. Is and why, it's an why. incredible fable. Go ahead. So these blind men come across this giant elephant, and each of them feels a different part of its body, and concludes a different truth about what it is. Mm -hmm. So the one that feels the tusk thinks it's a spear. The one that feels the tail thinks it's a a rope. Mm -hmm. The one that feels the ear thinks it's a fan. And each of them, convinced of the truth of their own perspective, Mm -hmm. they try to argue the validity of their singular understanding. Until this king comes along and says, you know, you're each feeling one part of something giant that alone none of you could understand. And you need to find a way to listen to one another and share your different mm-hmm. perspectives without righteousness so that all of you can understand the larger entity, the larger identity of the elephant. So this concept in you sprung from that fable from there, right? That's right. What is the next artist in the line told? I mean, any? I know you said So blind. little, so little. So the, 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 the one we just created was started by you know, young fifth graders who each were asked to interpret what the essence of fear was to them and then paint it. And then each of those paintings was given to a professional musician. Now, when I gave it to the, you know, Natasha Bedingfield or Susanna Hoffs or my dad or my mom. You should say your father and mother. Okay, James Taylor, Carly Simon. Okay, fine, okay. When I would give them a piece of art, I would say, what does this mean to you? There's no right or wrong answer. That's it. But, but, you know, somebody very close to you had the same nefarious idea, apparently, that I do, is let's throw a whatever into the whole system your brother ben here's a little bit at least (laughs) about what her brother attempted to do here he is even with all of the tools at my disposal i'd found it impossible to convolute the message because i had tried i had tried hard i saw this picture of this tree and i thought oh the roots have to go down through the bugs in order to get up to the stars so i was thinking about these star bugs uh, like bugs in space so you can't break the chain even if you want to like he did? Yeah, it seems to be that for either one reason or another, there are these common themes that run through despite the artist's lack of wisdom about the original source. So so what's the point? I know that comes out really crassly. Mm-hmm. And so okay. let me try to... Well, I've, what's with the, the point? Is mm-hmm. the elephant the point that you step back and you get a big... you? understand things better? What do we get out of this? Well, I sort of went in, I I studied anthropology when I was in school, and my big question going into this was, is the elephant, is there something that together we could actually understand if we gave ourselves enough room to be open-minded? Or are we so terrified of the mystery that we have to put a label on whatever it is and, and make sense of something that doesn't make any sense. And so that's basically the question that's still out there. And that's the question for everybody, the, the blind people who come to the exhibition is, what does this mean to you? There's no right or wrong answer. Well, that's exactly where I mm-hmm. wanted to end this, is I'm coming in October, as, as I told you. Is, 
What's my role in all? Uh, you, am I, I'm not purely an observer. Uh, it sounds like no, right? nobody at art. You know, in uh, so art is usually a statement, right? Here's a piece of art on the wall, or here's a piece of music. But this is art about art about art. Uh, you know, so it's art as a conversation. And at the end of the line, you're an artist. I mean, once you've experienced the photograph that inspired the song, that inspired the perfume, that inspired the sculpture, you are a part of the conversation. You're a blind man basically weighing in on your version of the elephant, which cumulatively gives us a better opportunity to understand the mystery. Are there others of these that you're doing? Or is this, I know this one we're going to say in a minute, I think is there till next May or something. Are there others of these in the works or is this? Uh... This is the second iteration, the one that's at Mass Mocha. And we just created a curriculum for 11 through 100 year old. And they, uh, this is now online. We're just putting it up. We're doing the first teacher training this next weekend. And then it'll be up for people to bring into their classrooms because together we can see more. And when kids are asked to open up their minds to one another in this non-sort of uh, confrontational right or wrong way, they actually can get pretty introspective and see the value of their limited perspective. I love the concept. I can't wait to see the execution. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sally, you're so coming. Much. Yeah, I can't wait. So I'll call you, you and let you know. All right, please. Sally Taylor, thanks. Again, come to your senses is what it's called. Art to see, smell, hear, taste, and touch. It's on display at the Massachusetts Museum of Contemporary Art in North Adams through May of 2019.